Yeah, I have no clue why there's oh, rats here. Told it was not me. Are. Oh, because I would never do that. I warned them about that truck weeks ago. Always be prepared for any hazardous radiation, I said. Those headstrong fools should have listened. Yeah, it must have are been ready a, to head up river? an accident or something. <laughs> Who are you? I am Cursar Lucullus, and my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? What will happen at the fort? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains received this honor. Who are you calling dissolute? All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. What have I done to earn this honor? You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. All right, I'm ready. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. Here we go, checking out Caesar's place. What's up? By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Oh yeah, good, I can keep the holdout stuff. Alright, fine. Sure. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. I still have my, uh... Maria? Alright, cool. So this is the fort, huh? Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? I'd like to assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity. But I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Let's just listen to him, figure out what he's up to, and get out. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing you could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. Mm -hmm. It's alright, Arcade. Don't worry. This is his uh, shithole fort. Got trenches. Interesting. They have shields. Some of the slaves have been spread. Look, look at this guy. The bird They're fucking. Again. That's right, slaves. Excuse me. That's why I fucking cannot wait to kill him. Dale Barton. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. Really? Uh. You ever met Caesar? I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legat Lanius, his second in command, however. It was. unpleasant. Mm hmm. Has to be expected. Tell me about Legat. He's the best the Legion has to offer. Or so the Legionaries say. Brute of a man. Wears a fancy metal mask in a battle. He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. How about yourself? Shoot. Our Legion? No, sir. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. Is it dangerous to trade with the Legion? Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. Ever trade with the NCR? Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. Alright, anything else to talk about? No? Alright, so what you got to trade? Have a look. Free shit. The fuck is the Kobe rep long tube? I don't know what gun that's for. Pleasure doing business with you. Here. 
Did I just take a, I took a dinner plate? Whatever, I'll sort that shit out later. Some of the slaves have been spreading also? stories about the burned man again. You here to fight in the arena? Then you're talking to the right man. Really, it's an arena. Tell me about the arena. Such as? By the rules. Light armor and machetes only. The challenger, the one who asks to enter the arena, may be pitted against one or more opponents. All matches continue until one side is dead. No exceptions. Interesting. What do you do? I set up the fights, keep track of prisoners available, and make sure the arena's cleaned up. Who does the fighting? Most of the time, it's some young legionary trying to make a name for himself, hoping to get noticed by Kaisar or the Praetorians. We pit slaves or prisoners against each other once in a while, but it's not much of a show. They're usually too reluctant to kill each other. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Uh, what can you tell about Leggett? A great warrior. When he was but a recruit, I watched him kill ten men in the arena with his bare hands. He doesn't feel pain, and he never ever shows mercy. If all legionaries were like him, the legion would be invincible. What do you know about the Burned Man? It's not something we like to speak of. The Burned Man was our greatest warrior, even greater than Legat Lanius. But he failed Kaisar at the dam. He's been dead for several years now. But the nope. rumor is that Kaisar has scouts out looking for him all the same. The Burned Man was a very tough man. Yes. Some more shit. Kill. Take it all. You. I just another. Hold dude. your tongue, wastrel. What did you just call me, you little fucker? Oh, fuck yourself. Juggernaut. Siri. If you're injured, I might have healing powder to spare. Another one who's black arms, white face. What do you know about Legate? The Legate is not a man to be crossed, especially if you're a woman. That's all I'll talk about it. I will kill him. One of these playthroughs, don't worry. Tell me about the burn man. A vengeful spirit. Some of the more superstitious women claim. He was a great leader of the Legion before he failed Kaisar. The story says he was set on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon, but his angry spirit rose from the ashes of his corpse, looking for revenge. Nonsense, probably, but there's no doubt that many in the Legion believe he's still alive somehow. You're a doctor? I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries, healing powders and all that. I'm always running low on Xander root. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. Using one Brock flower per Xander root, right? Oh, I've been using two roots per flower. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. Anything else for sale? For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. Alright, so about the effectiveness of your healing powders. What about it? Do you have some advice? Never mind. So I already told her that. Uh, questions. Where are you from? A small town in New Mexico. The Legion burned it a few years back. That's how I ended up here. How long have you been a slave? Three years and counting. If I could just get across the river, I'd be free. Not that I'd try it. I've seen what happens when you get caught. How are women treated around here? We're property. If you're too young or too old, the men usually leave you alone. Usually. Alright. Looks like that's it. Right? Yeah. Don't worry, I will kill them in most of my playthroughs here. <laughs> Anthony. Outsiders are a rare sight at the fort. What a voice. Step carefully around here and you might just leave alive. I'm Anthony, master of the hounds. Nice dog. Lupa. Yes, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. She's getting old, but she's still a tough old bitch. Aren't you, girl? <laughs> yeah. 
I could use Lupa's brain. Oh, well, it's a little late for that. Uh, tell me about Legget. It took years for Kaisar to conquer Laniusa's tribe, and Kaisar showed mercy to the survivors, allowing them to join the Legion. Had the positions been reversed, Kaisar would be dead. Laniusa is called the Monster of the East because he never, ever shows mercy. All right, what do you know about the Burn Man? He's a story to frighten the younger legionaries. He's dead. No man, no matter how tough, could survive a fall into the Grand Canyon. All right, some questions. Yeah. Where's the Legion gets dogs? We breed them mostly, but sometimes we get some good ones from Denver. That whole city is overrun with them. You train these dogs? Been doing it since I was a boy. The mongrels know to listen up when I start talking to them. Alright, anything else? Tell me about yourself. I've been around dogs all my life. They're my life. Always were. All the way back when I was a tribal. One of the hang dogs outside Denver. Dogs roamed that city. Our tribe made peace with them. Thought they were our spirit animals. Helped us hunt. Sounds pretty sad. Provided for us in some lean times. Then the Legion came. Good thing, too. Stronger now. Don't need those beliefs anymore. He says while half crying. How'd you end up joining the Legion? When the Legion showed up, we fought. Most tribes did. Hangdogs hung out longer than most. Broke us by throwing our dogs on the fire. So we gave up. Our elders couldn't bear the idea of our spirit animals burning in the afterlife. Kaisar was impressed enough to conscript us. Use our skills with dogs to join the Legion as hound masters. All right. Hey, Lupa. Uh, that's basically yes, the arrow's just that. All right. What else is left? Just the tent where he's at, looks like. Yep. Okay. Take a main save here. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Okay. Hey. This is his tent. Mongrel. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Need to take some maps of uh Arizona. It's the dam. Interesting. Kick around some coffee cups. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Benny. Damn right. Damn right. True to Kaiser. Fuck off, Benny. Got what you deserved. Slave ledger. Extensive. Faded twisted hairs. That's the um dude I was just at. Lonesome Road. Formed an alliance. Uh, once the ways were pacified, they turned on the allies, stripped them of their identity, forced them into slavery. Hmm. Volpe's. Shiss. Kaisar awaits. You can speak with me later. Anything behind you? Yes, there is. Auto dock. Fucker. It's probably the older duck. No, it's not. What am I thinking? Hell yeah. Right here. Alright, let's go loot Caesar's shit. Must be something good in here. Fuck. I knew that was too high. 
Motherfucker. Too high still. Or not. 2000. Alright. So his uh, War Chief helmet, interesting. And 2000 caps. Oh ha ha. Nothing. Alright. I'm to speak to Caesar. Well, let's see. He doesn't say anything, right? Kaisar awaits you. We can talk afterwards. Hell's on your wrist. It's weird as shit. Is that like a pit boy? Maybe. Alright, Caesar. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. The great cons aren't exactly clamoring to fight for my legion now. The garrison I established at Nelson has been wiped out. Years of meticulous scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared, with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? Let's see. It's a taser? Alright, I was wondering what the fuck that thing was. You're in possession of something that interests me. We'll deal with Benny when the time comes. In the meantime, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat? You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. Damn right. The question is, are you ready to get started? Yes, I'll definitely be killing him in all three playthroughs that don't involve his uh, quest line. Alright, so uh, let's see... How much do you know about me? I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch. With you doing the punching. Interesting. What do I have to do? Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open, or drilled open, or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. And once I'm inside... I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip platinum with you. Chip. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. I'm going to shoot him. Awe, true to Kaisar. It is a great honor for anyone outside the legion to get an audience with Kaisar. Anything you need me to do? We recently obtained an artillery weapon. But we don't have the part or the skill to fix it. Alright, uh, where'd you get that gun? The trader Dale Barton salvaged it from a military base in Arizona. Yuma, I believe. We need artillery for, obviously. The best marksmen of the NCR are usually at the rear of any battle. The gun will allow us to strike at them. I'll see what I can do. The tribe calling themselves the Boomers is obsessed with such weapons, I've been told. You can probably find a spare firing mechanism there. Alright, anything you can tell me about Leggett? He's the best warrior in the Legion. A full Legionary by the time he was 12, he's never lost a battle. Had the Leggett been in command during the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Legion would have won. I have no doubt about that. 
He leaves in second in command? No. Legate Lanius is Kaisar's second. The Legate replaced the Burned Man after the Legion's defeat at the dam several years ago. Tell me about the Burned Man. The Burned Man was Kaisar's advisor and general when the Legion was originally formed. The Burned Man led us to a disastrous defeat at the dam. On Kaisar's orders, the Burned Man was covered in pitch by the Praetorian Guard, lit on fire, and cast into the Grand Canyon. Kaisar has forbidden us from ever speaking his true name again. And so we simply refer to him as the Burned Man. Hey Goop, welcome man. You've come in at the very end of my stream here. Uh, I just finished up basically all the side quests, so I also have his main story to go. And I'm going to be starting that stuff on my next stream, but welcome dude. I noticed you don't carry a gun. It's a tradition in the Praetorians to specialize in unarmed combat. Because weapons can break or jam when needed most. However, our unarmed techniques favor offense over defense. We can charge the enemy and flatten him with our first strike before he can react. Can you teach me Praetorian unarmed technique? Of course. This will take some time, and I'm not a forgiving teacher. Well, I just learned it. Haha. -ha. Alright, now we're talking to you. I suspect you'll be a valuable asset to the Legion. Assuming you're really on our side, of course. What can you tell me about the Legate? To call the news ferocious would be an understatement. In battle, he seizes the enemy in his jaws and will not let go. He thinks nothing of suffering losses, so long as the enemy suffers more. Though unsubtle, he is not dim. He detects traps and sets his own. Be glad you will not have to face his judgment. If you are true to Kaisar. I am not. <laughs> Tell me about the Burned Man. Ah, uh, yes. We are forbidden from speaking his true name. He was a shaman of some kind before he met Kaisar, a holy man from out of the Utah. The Burned Man proved dangerous, unpredictable, and impossible to kill. He helped Kaisar form the Legion, but almost led it to destruction. Was there something you need me to do? There's a gambler, Martina Grosbeck, who has a knack for learning other people's secrets and passing that information along for a price. The Omertas, who run Gomorrah, have become suspicious of Martina's frequent visits to their casino. Soon they'll pay her a visit of their own. What's in it for me? Besides the gratitude of the Legion? Don't worry, you'll be paid in coin or caps. All right, I'll check out one for you. Good. Martina frequents the Vault 21 gift shop on the Strip. Hurry along, and she still may be in one piece by the time you get there. Stories about the burned man. Again. All right, now, time to deal with Benny. Why, you little promise breaker! Let me live, Benny, and I'll never come after you. Pinky swear. What a fink. Anyway. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. Now, I'm thinking about this. I want to kill him with a gun. If I pull the gun out, are they going to come after me because I'm not supposed to have it? We'll find out. It is pretty funny. Yeah, well, laugh it up on your own time. Down to brass tacks. How'd your meet and greet with Baldy go? He gave me the platinum ship. Sure. Baldy wants you to go down there in the bunker and destroy whatever Mr. House stashed there. Oh, you don't want to do that, baby. Whatever's down in that bunker is the key to the city called Vegas. So here's what you do. You go down there and you use the chip to do whatever Mr. House would have wanted you to do. And when you get back to the strip, you find Yes Man. I made it so that cat can't help but be helpful. Dig? I want to know more about you. Uh, crucify him. I want to shoot him with his gun because that's one of the um, things I have to do for a challenge. Achievement. I'm the most interesting person I know. Was your tribe always called the chairman? No, in the way back we called ourselves the boot riders. Silly name, but that's how we rode the Mojave, dig? On our feet. We were nomadic badasses not to be trifled with. A gang of ruffians, though, with a certain panache. 
When House gave us the tops to renovate, his robots dropped off boxes full of suits and ties and wingtip shoes. Told us we were the chairman now. That caused an uproar, but I said the name sticks. Chow to the old ways, baby. Time to swing in style. If the shoes fit, you wear them. How long were you head of the family? Seven years. Took over three days after Mr. House introduced himself. Our chief at the time, mountain of a guy named Bingo, wanted to stay nomadic. I disagreed, so he challenged me to the knife. He looked so surprised when I stuck that knife in his neck. Thought he was so tough, but he was so slow. That's how I made chief. It's how things were back then. How did Mr. House introduce himself? We were east of Vegas when the first Securitron we ever saw rolled up on us. We junked it in a minute flat. The next day, 20 roll up. So we listened. Said we'd been selected. Vegas needed us to defend it. In exchange, we'd get cushy digs, full stomachs, medical treatment. Everything a nomad never gets, in other words. Most of the tribe thought we should say no. I thought it was the best idea ever. What happened after you fled the tops? I prefer the term relocated. It took every stealth boy I had to cross the river at Cottonwood Cove. That was a close shave, riding a boat full of Legion boys. Once I was across, I changed into a uniform I swiped off a dead Legionary outside Nelson. Tried to sneak into the bunker, but that didn't work out. They found the chip. I wasn't gonna tell them what it was used for, but let's just say they were persuasive. Good. How about something else? Go on. Tell me about the factions that want to rule Vegas. Which greedy overlord do you want to start with? Why shouldn't Mr. House run Vegas? Mr. House hides Vegas under his skirt when the bombs fall a thousand years ago so it belongs to him? Forever? You buy that? Baby, every boss has a line to explain why he's special. Why everyone's gotta do what he says. You're just figuring that out? Vegas gotta swing, baby. Gotta have pizzazz. Respect where due, but that old man is square to the core. Tell me about the three families. The chairmen are true blue. The Omertas are degenerates. Never trust them. Or the white gloves. Just something creepy about them. Set it up right and the families will roll with your caper. You might have to do some convincing. What if my choice is none of the above? Now you're talking. That is the ring-a-ding move, baby. First base is whatever Mr. House would have you do. Follow orders, rig the game to his specifications. Then, when he ain't looking, you knock him out of the running and find a way to take control of those Securitrons of his. Go see Yes Man. I made it so that cat can't help but be helpful. What's so bad about NCR? Ain't we covered this? The only thing not bad about them is they ain't Legion. The NCR is the biggest gang of thieves in the Mojave. Only difference is they pass laws to make their crimes legal before they commit them. I think Caesar would destroy the strip. Nah, just spruce it up with a crucifixion here and there. Good point. Come closer <laughs> so I can step on you. The Legion is twisted, baby. Original losers worshipping the king of creeps like he's some kind of god. They're worse than roaches. My advice? Put on your stomping shoes. Alright. Uh, looks like that's it. Guess what? Caesar says I can decide how you die. Try not to smile so wide, baby. You might break your mouth. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Something bad could happen to you right here. The direct approach, eh? Fair enough. But you should wait until the bunker's taken care of. Caesar won't like it if you eat dessert first. I'm gonna try it, see what happens. Ta-ta.